Would you please rise? Through your goodness, Lord, we have this bread and wine to offer, the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. They will become our spiritual food. All things come from you, O Lord, and of your own do we give you. Blessed be God forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is a right, good, and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, everlasting God. Through your dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, after his glorious resurrection, he openly appeared to his disciples, and in their sight ascended into heaven to prepare a place for us, that where he is, we may be also, and reign with him in glory. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, who forever say this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts, and we ask you to make them holy by the power of your Holy Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who offered himself obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all of mankind. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat it. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Let us now all proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Father, calling to mind the death of your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continual intercession for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you in this thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with favor upon your church's offering, and grant that we who eat these holy gifts may be filled with your Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. May he make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with St. Bartholomew, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints. With him and in him and through him, In the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise, blessing, honor, and glory, and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And as our Savior has taught us, so we pray.
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My brothers and sisters in Christ, draw near and receive his body which he gave for you, his blood which he shed for you. Remember that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Together, grant, gracious Lord, that we so eat the flesh of your dear Son and drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. And let us now together say our post-communion prayer. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you in all persons in you with the gladness and singleness of heart through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us remember that life is short, and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who travel with us. So be swift to love and make haste to be kind. And may God, our Father, who created you, and Jesus, his Son, who loves you, and the Holy Spirit, who travels with you, bless you this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.